Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Really interesting exponential equation today, we have x to the power x equal to 3. On the first side this is like very easy equation, we can try to solve it by inspection, we have like not a hard and uh, long complicated expression, we have x to the power x, which is our variables on the left hand side, our constant on the right hand side, so it's not look like, uh, it's not looks like hard equation, yeah? But it's not work like that, we have a, maybe a really great expression, but we need to know a really great trick. It's not like a very easy equation, but we need to know about really great tricks. And in this video, I'm going to show you two really great uh, tricks right here, and we will solve this question easily. And I hope you will enjoy this video. Okay, let's try to solve it. X to the power x equal to three. First of all, we have x in our power. Yeah. So it's really great to know about natural log because if we apply natural log on both sides, so natural log x to the power x equal to natural log three. If you apply natural log on both sides, of course, it doesn't change nothing because we do this on the both side. But this x, <coughs> if you know a little bit about log, this x jump right here. So we have x times natural log x equal to natural log three. Okay, it was our first really great rule. I write this rule right here. So natural log a to the power b equal to b times natural log a. So I hope you understand this step. This is maybe the first really great rule you need to know or you need to remember or you need to understand. Okay, I hope you understand this step. And let's go to the next step. <clears throat> For next step, you need to know about a really great theorem, really great function. This function called like a Lambert W function. Okay, and a lot of students find difficulties with this function. They don't know about how can we apply this function, how this function looks like. They find it difficult. So in this video, I try to uh, explain you this function in very simple words. First of all, we need to know that. Uh, first of all, we need to create this function. But how can we create this function? Imagine you have a times e to the power a. If we have like this expression, just imagine you have something like that, where a is whatever you want expression, yep. Yeah? You need to have e, yep. Yeah? And if you apply Lambert W function of this expression, it gives us only, only our a. This is maybe the main uh, rule of Lambert W function. If you have a right here and a right here, so absolutely the same expression, then Lambert W function of this expression give us only only a, which is which is really great. Okay, right here we have our rule, but uh, let's look at our expression because we have expression. Our expression is right here. We don't have any a. We don't have any e. But we need to create it. Okay. First of all, on the right hand side we have natural log three, which is which is not good for us to create Lambert W function because this is a constant. But let's look on the on the left hand side. We have x times natural log x. Okay, how can we create this function? First of all, we need to create e. But how can we do this? Natural log x. This is not good. But x, we can write instead of this x. Let's write this e to the power natural log x. Okay, this is absolutely the same. Absolutely the same. E to the power natural log x. This is absolutely the same as x. Okay, and times natural log x. Natural log x equal to natural log natural log three. Okay, so I hope you understand this step, because right now we can easily um, apply Lambert W function, but with one really interesting notes from me. First of all, we have natural log x. This is in our head. Let's go with a. This is our a. We don't have a substitution, but in, let's keep it in our head. This is our a, and natural log x. This is our a as well. So this is our a, and this is our a. So in the same way. A and A we have right here, which is absolutely the same. So we can easily apply Lambert W function. This is a great expression to apply Lambert W function. Okay, let's look at it. But we need to change an order a little bit because we have A at first, then we have E. So let's change an order. We can easily do this because right here we have multiplication. So two times three equal to three times two. So we can easily do this. We can easily change, change this order. Okay, we have natural log X times E to the power natural log X equal to natural log natural log three. Okay? Okay. As you can see right here we can easily apply Lambert W function because this is the same as right here. The same expressions as right here A and the same A. I try to explain this Lambert W function step by step. I want you to understand this function. This is really important for me because this video is of course for you to, to learn something new. Okay? So and right now applying Lambert W function and right here, of course, Lambert W function, because in mass, if you do something on the left hand side, for example, square both side or square root on both side, you need to do this on both side. And if you apply Lambert W function on the left hand side, then you need to do the same thing with the with the right hand side. OK, OK, let's go right here. Lambert W function of this expression give us only a and in our case a equal to natural log x. So we have natural log x, natural log x equal to Lambert W function of natural log 
nature log 3. Okay, this is a constant, but right here we have nature log x and we need only our x because we are interested in a full, full solution, we need x equal to, we don't need this nature log. So I suggest you to look at this trick right here, we just apply um, base of e on both sides. So let's write e on both sides, right here e and this is go as our power, so nature log x equal to e and this goes to our power as well, lambda w function of nature log 3. Okay, okay, right here, let's go back right here, e to the power nature log x, we wrote this as a change of x, so this is absolutely the same as x, as you can see right here we go with this, maybe not a substitution, we just change, we just rewrite it in another way, and right here let's go back to this x, because this is absolutely the same, e to the power nature log x, this is like a school property right here, equal to our x, equal to, and this is our expression, this is a constant, which is really great, e to the power lambda w function of nature log, nature log 3. Okay, and this is our final answer, this is a great answer for your, for your maybe exam in your school, because you, you don't allow to use your calculator in your exam, this is a final answer for you, because this is a constant, we, we find our x, we find this exact value of our x, but um, I think maybe someone watched this video and they don't study at school, or they are interested in, in a answer, so for those I have this approximately answer, I plug in this in a scientific calculator, so we have one point, 8.25. This is our answer if you're talking about, maybe someone someone want to, to look at this answer, but if you study at school, you you it, this is enough for you to write x equal to e to the power lambda w function, nature log 3, but maybe someone interested in, in the approximate answer, this is for them. Okay, this is my solution to this question, I hope you learned something new, this is maybe the main purpose for this channel, I want you to learn something new, remember Lambert uh, W function or learn this Lambert W function, I try to explain this in a simple words, I don't want you to, to find any difficulties, just try to create this expression and apply Lambert W function. And the same thing with this uh, uh, nature log property, this is the easy property, I hope you learn this property at school, because it helps us a lot. Without nature log it will be like difficult question and we cannot, uh, I guess we cannot solve it without nature log. Okay, this is my solution to this question, also wanted to say thank you for your for your support, for your likes, I really appreciate it, because this my main purpose is to learn you something new, to find really great uh, math questions all over the world, try to try to enhance your, your knowledge in math, try to to give something for you from my from my heart from my math skills right here and i try to mm, post different uh, questions and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for your time for your support i really appreciate it and i wish all the best in your mathematic adventures thank you for your time and have a great day